Welcome to MMA Play 365. I'm Newsom, and I'm here to give you the Bayes AI, the UFC prediction software recap from last weekend at UFC Vegas 57. And we start straight away with the value side. Now, the Bayes AI UFC prediction software actually incorrectly predicted this fight. And we're jumping into the main event. We've got Mateus Gamrot versus Armin Sarukian. So the AI actually had Gamrot to win at 48%. So it favored Sarukian very, very slightly. But what I love about this type of fight, and by the way, I thought the exact same here. Not that I thought Sarukian, I didn't predict Sarukian to win. I actually sided with Gamrot. But the AI knew that this fight was going to be super, super close. And I was the same. I actually bet Gamrot at plus 275, which is a crazy number. Now, I didn't watch the fight because I was on my wedding day. I had to get married that day. So I didn't watch the fight. I can't comment on the specifics. But what I do know is that the betting line was too wide, that Gamrot and Sarukian should have been much, much closer, potentially closer to a pick'em as well. And the AI thought the same as well. 48% chance it gave Gamrot of winning this fight. That puts Gamrot at plus 108 with the odds implied on that 48%. But you could have had Gamrot for anywhere from that plus 275 that I got him, but he did settle at around plus 240 for the majority of fight week. So there's plenty of value there. Plus 240 compared to your plus 108 in a fight where the AI and even myself are saying that it's almost a coin flip fight and you're getting a massive favorite on one side. I think that's perfect. That's where the value is. The AI, the UFC prediction software, putting everything together in the algorithms, knew that fight was gonna be super close, and that's where the value was in that fight. Now, moving on to the solid winners section. Now, I shouted a little bit about this already during fight week. I was quite surprised as well that Bayes AI, the UFC prediction software, actually predicted a percentage that was the greatest percentage I've ever seen predicted on a fight from Bayes AI. It had it at 83, it had a fighter at 83.55%, which I think the highest before that that I'd ever seen was around 70, 71%. So the fact that the AI had a fight at 83.55% instantly got my attention. Now what makes this even crazier is that this prediction at 83.55% was on an underdog. And that the fight that I'm talking about is Cody Durden versus JP Bayes. So Cody Durden, the AI predicted 83.55%. The odds implied on that is minus 508. So Bayes AI was saying that Cody Durden should have been a five to one favorite in this fight, which like I said, I know it's an eyebrow raiser, but you could have had Cody Durden. He settled at around plus 100. You could have had him at plus money on fight week. So the fact that the AI was saying Somebody should be a five to one favorite and the bookies are giving you plus money on it. I don't need to say anymore. It's crazy value. And this is why we love Bayes AI, the UFC prediction software, because some of the stuff that this is outputting is just insane. But I do want to take this just one step further. So if you look at Cody Durden inside the distance, adding the KO percentage and the submission percentage together, you get 62%. So the AI was saying that Cody Durden to win inside the distance should have been minus 162 so bear in mind, you could have got plus money on Cody Durden to just win the fight by any, by any means, at plus 100, plus 105, plus 110 in some spots. But the AI was saying to finish the fight, it should be minus 162. You could have got plus 300 on that number. So again, some more insane value. Like I say, the AI absolutely nailed this fight perfectly with Durden, knocking him out in round one. You know, it couldn't have been more perfect. So amazing stuff from Bayes AI there. And the next solid winner, one that... I actually thought it was going to go the other way, but we've got Josh Parisian versus Alan Bordeaux. So the AI had Parisian to win at 59%. Odds implied that's minus 144, but you could have got Parisian at around minus 110, plus 100. That's where it settled throughout fight week. So again, you've got some value there. And like I said, at 59%, that's very close to 60. I always say at around 60 to 65%, the quiet, confident predictions from Bayes AI, if that makes sense. So I think at 59%, that's not too far away from that bracket. So a solid prediction, especially at a Pickham price or even plus 100 plus money in some books for Josh Parisian. So another good solid winner from Bayes AI. And in the next one, this actually could fall into surprise, the surprise winner section as well, by the way. We don't have a surprise winner in this uh, 
in this segment, in this recap from Bayes AI, the UFC prediction software. But if any did fall into that category, this could possibly be it. And that's Carlos Ulbrich versus Tafon Chukwe. I actually bet Tafon Chukwe to win. So once again, Bayes AI has the upper hand. When we go head to head, it always seems to be me and my bankroll that's losing. Um, but look, that's that's Bayes AI. It's, it's a really good piece of kit and the software. The algorithms are phenomenal. But Carlos Ulbrich to win at 55%. So it wasn't like a huge lock or anything, but Carlos Ulberg actually opened up the favorite and the public, including myself, bet that down to Carlos Ulberg being the underdog. He was actually plus 130 going into that fight. So at 55%, the odds are implied at minus 122. So the fact that you could get plus 130, there's a decent amount of value there. Obviously the fight ended in round one, so no sweat for anybody that followed Bayes AI into that fight. And like I said, it could potentially fall into the surprise category because I did bet Taf on Chukwe. And like I said, Bayes AI gets me once again, which is frustrating, but I did have a profitable night personally. So I'm not too annoyed with Bayes AI this weekend. And finally, I can't forget this part. You know, I talk about all the great things that Bayes AI does, but every now and again, it throws a real bad prediction in. And the one thing I want to say before I tell you this is, look, I thought it was a real bad prediction when I saw it. The AI team that puts all this together, they thought that it was also a little bit uh, of a very eye-opening prediction to the point where they checked if there were if there was any sort of errors or anything with the with the code, with the algorithms. You know, it was that surprising, but it wasn't. It just turned out this is what I would call an anomaly, personally. I don't think that Bayes AI is going to make a habit of doing what it did in this respect. And I kind of, I'm disrespecting the opponent here by this, by saying this, but, you know, I'll go straight into it. So, Umar Namagomedov. So, Bayes AI had Umar Namagomedov. Umar Namagomedov to win at 49%, which I personally think is nuts. It favoured Nate Maynus very, very slightly. Um, again, I don't agree with that at all. I do believe it's an anomaly, something that won't happen very often, but nothing's perfect in life. Humans, computers, robots, whatever. Not you know, Nothing's perfect. And I do believe this is just an anomaly from the software. But yeah, Umar Namagomedov, 49%. That's odds implied at plus 105 he was actually minus a thousand at some betting, at some bookies on the betting line. So I kind of agreed with sort of where that line was. I thought Umar Namagomedov was going to run through Manus, which he did. I think Namagomedov's a future champion, which I genuinely believe that he could have that strap around his waist one day. Um, the AI, like I said, it doesn't really produce a lot of bad losses, but this was one of them. Obviously, we won't hide from that. We talk about the great stuff every now and again. There is, uh, there is. One prediction like this doesn't happen often, but we will always talk about it in the recap. And that's all for the Bayes AI recap from UFC Vegas 57 last weekend. Like I said, 67% last weekend. The weekend before that was 77%. The weekend before that was 82%. The weekend before that was 72%. So Bayes AI is absolutely flying at the minute, producing gems, producing winners. And I do believe it's a game-changing piece of software that is going to just thrive in this MMA betting world right now and in years to come. So once again, thanks for listening to the Bayes AI Recap. We'll be back again next week to recap UFC 276, which goes down this weekend. I'm Newsom. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again next week.